How's that can opener working out for you, Mum? <laughs> Seriously? I have just had a bath and I'm gonna smell like tuna. I cannot believe you threw out the freaking can opener without replacing it. I know, I kept thinking, okay, I've got to get that. That thing was a devil anyway. It just pissed me off so much. <laughs> I don't feel like Grandad. This is what he'd do, McGuire. seriously. Yeah. Oh, God, you reek, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> I just had a bath. Call me when it's ready. <laughs> For those of you who don't realise, I'm making dinner. I'm making um, a tuna, ma a tuna mash. So yeah, all I need now is a tuna and mum freaking threw out the um, ridiculously useless stupid can opener the other day, hasn't bought a new one and she bought the only can of tuna that doesn't come with a pull lid that tears a thing off. So she's out there MacGyvering with a hammer and a freaking screwdriver. Mm, get on it mum. So it's, um, what time is it? 11.40. 11.40 at night. Saturday. On a Saturday night. And what are we doing? We're going for a drive in the rain. I don't know what sense this makes. I can't even see you. <laughs> but we're going for a drive in the rain into the city. Uh, we're just about to jump on the Westgate Bridge. And yeah. It's so pretty with all the car it headlights though. Yeah, we can't see much and it's, yeah. The city's right over there. It's right over there, somewhere. Yeah. Where all the blue lights are. All the blue lights, yeah. All the, yeah, most of the skyscrapers in Melbourne have blue lights on the top. Or red. Uh, mainly blue. It's a blue city. Did you know that? No. Yeah. So, Beepi's with us, of course. She, yeah, it's not very often that she, can you see me? It's not very often she gets to see um, lights out her window. She usually has a screen up for the sun. Yeah, so she hasn't peeped at all, all the time we've been driving, which is really good. Is she looking out the window? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I can see you. There's the lights from the Westgate Bridge. Sure you close enough? Yeah. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Can you see the city over there? Yeah. So we're going to go through the city, down Sydney Road, through Coburg, do a big loop all the way back home. No, so, the entire loop with um, city traffic on a Saturday night should take us about an hour and 20. Yeah. So, yeah. And this time next week, Nana will be with us. And this yeah. time the weekend after that, Maria will be with us. So and the week after that, Tana will be back. Ah, oh, don't threaten me. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing. Saturday night, driving to Melbourne. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Rapunzel, let down your hair. Coming into Grand Central now, about two minutes. I think it's all underground from here. I honestly have no idea. Okay, just I was going to do a time lapse coming into the station, but yeah, I think it's underground entrance. Yeah, it'd have to be. Oh, well, no time lapse to you. Coming into the main terminal. Oh, it's so pretty. Holy shit. That is freaking cool. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. It's just like the movies. Seriously, look at the constellations painted up on the roof, though. That's brilliant. Long to see. Made through. We're out walking down Lexington. Oh! Walking down um, Lexington Avenue at the moment on the way to Rockefeller Centre. But yeah, just the sheer size of everything. Melbourne's got nothing on this. Seriously, it's just, it's just crazy. Hey, look, look. And then back down this way. Seriously. 
I will say one thing though. It is cold. Like, like, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> should have bought my jacket cold. The thing is, it's the same temperature as what it was before left, but because of the buildings, all the cold wind stays low and it's all in your face. Might as well buy a jumper or a jacket or something. So, Rockefeller Plaza, Rockefeller Square, where the big ass Christmas tree is currently going up. It gets unveiled at like December the 2nd, I think. So, yeah. Look at the size of that bed. They got ice skating rink down the bottom here, which is awesome. Got all the flags around here and beautiful statues. You can see this one over this side here. But yeah, I'm gonna go up the observation tower now and have a look at the city from up high on the 86th floor at the top of the rock. But um, yeah, it's, a, it's very surreal. When that tree's up, I hope I get to come back and see it. Um, I mean, I leave on the 7th, so yeah, if I can come back and see that when it's like lit up, that'd be awesome. We've got Radio City Music Hall there, and NBC Studios, there's an observation deck, about to go up there now. But yeah, freaking cool! And I'm just waiting for the Lego store as well, and I bought a little Christmas mini figurine. Hmm, so why not? Wow. So I'm still inside, I haven't gone outside yet because you it's all like half inside, half outside once you get to the 86th floor. But look, Central Park, how beautiful. You can just see all the bridge in the background. That's all the borough of Manhattan right there. From water to water. Alright, see this better for you guys. Pretty sure you know what that big building is there. But see the really big one on the right in the background? That's New World Trade Center. And I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in as much as I can, but sort of like in the middle there. You might be able to see it. Statue of Liberty right there. But that's for another day. That's not for today, that's for another day. Alright, so we're out in front of the Disney Store in Times Square. Look at that. That is so busy. Look at the size of this billboard though. Oh, this bus is going to go in front of it. Bus, come on. But yeah, Times Square. Yeah, this billboard though. And it's an interchanging one too. It's crazy. But yeah. There's just so many things I would love to talk about and fit in and just vlog about for ages and ages. But this vlog is already going to be super long. So yeah, you're just going to get snippets, and I'm just going to take a whole heap of photos for myself. But yeah, it's just, it's just fantastic. It's just so good. Look at that. And the taxis, all these yellow taxis. All yellow cabs. Yeah. You see these in shows over and over again, but to see it like five feet away from you, really cool. Just entered in the Central Park. Just going to wander, try and find some sun. Maybe sit down for a moment. Rest me legs, because my back is knackered. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even know what I'm trying to find. Maybe the zoo? Maybe just like one of the big ass ponds in here? But yeah, so... It's not that you can really, like, tell, because it's just like, trees and shit. But this is, yeah, it's part of Central Park. I'm going for a big walk. Yeah. Yeah. There's also booty for the strong front flippers. 
<laughs> and that concludes the zoo tour. We'll finish it off in front of an eagle. Because America. But yeah, really good. If you ever here, come to the zoo. Worth. Very much worth. It's about. Quarter to four, four o'clock. Sun is already setting. You can see it. Different colour. Yeah. One of the weird things about the city is that because every building is so tall and everything's so condensely packed, you can't actually see any of the major landmarks from any point the way you're standing. And I thought you would be able to. You'd be like standing in where I am now. You'd be able to see like the Empire State Building or something like that. You can't because everything is just so tall. It just overshadows every, all, everything else. It's um, yeah, really weird and something, yeah, didn't expect that at all. Came into Nintendo World because Nintendo, so yeah. It's just, look at all the stuff. Uh, the old vintage, but in pristine condition. It's one of everything that they ever say. Look at this one, this Game Boy damaged in the Gulf War. This Game Boy was damaged from barracks were bombed during the 1991 Gulf War. It still works. So, again, to the DS's. DSIs and then the 3DS's and then the XL's. Starts all the way back there at the original Game Boy. You've got all these cases. It's just stuff everywhere. Heading back to the station now. The city is so unbelievably pretty. Look how good this thing looks at night time. And that, right in front is Grand Central Station. And that is the perfect way to end my first ever day in New York City. So yeah, I'm going home after I go off the job. An hour and a half worth of train and then 20 minute drive, so I'm sort of going home. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. I'll leave you with that. Ah, wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, this is the one you made for yeah, the garden party? Yeah tweaked a little bit so I've done it a little bit differently and yeah but yeah I melted chocolate successfully last time um, I got Tanner to do it and he's like well why don't you just do it and I'm like I don't know how to melt chocolate so when he was doing it I paid attention and he told me two key things one is that you need a little bit of butter in with the chocolate that you're melting and another thing is that the water shouldn't hit the um shouldn't hit the bottom of the bowl that you're melting the chocolate in and another thing it's so great yeah i know i love this marbling yeah effect. sorry another thing um Another thing is that you turn the stove top um, heat off halfway through, mum, halfway through, um, and then just let the heat of the water do the rest. Mm. Okay. So how long until that sets and I can have a slice? A couple of hours. Mm. Okay. I'm joking. It'll set in like half an hour, but I put it in the fridge. Right. Well done. Aren't I a clever little dick? Mm. Show you what it looks like when it sets. Because yeah. it goes a slightly different colour and it just looks really great. Yeah. And this is just a rough one because it's just for us. So <laughs> It's just one of those days. Everything's going perfectly. Look at this. I'm making um, homemade banana pancakes. 
And yeah, normally they fall apart and they just, you know. Mm. Are they mine? One's yours and one's mine. Mm. Yeah. They're perfect. I don't know if it's just me or does this Nanahachi rabbit look like it's going for a little bit of a cruise on a summer night. <laughs> Ears out the window and all. Good one, Shasha. Good one. Okay, so there you go. That's what they look like when they're all cut and stuff. No, we haven't eaten the rest of it. It's still over on the other bench, but yeah. That is what my peppermint slice looks like when it's finished.